2014, Congo's toured Europe, opening for One Republic. As the support act with a worldwide hit, it was a low-pressure tour. Shows were well attended thanks to the headliner's draw, and Congo's wasn't as financially on the hook for the tour. What the fuck is happening right now? I have no idea, dude. <laughs> We're what? trying to pack everything good? onto the bus, but the bus is not big enough, dude. <laughs> We've also had a lot of drinks that uh, make moving stuff more difficult. Are you recording through all the breaks? I'm too drunk to hit stop record. <laughs> yeah. Fuck, are we messing with umbrellas? I mean, we have no umbrella ice. <laughs> <laughs> They managed to take Chris's wallet. Chris's wallet. <laughs> Who are you calling? Listen, whatever you do, don't cry. Don't cry. Now, as the headliner without a single on the radio, show attendance is harder to predict, and everything falls on them. Like much of this European tour, unpredictability is a daily challenge. This is the band's fourth tour in Europe, but it will be their first time headlining. Beginning in Warsaw, they'll make their way across the continent with many familiar cities, as well as some first-time stops like Russia and Ukraine. We're here in Warsaw, Poland. Had a nice sleep for the first time in six weeks. Warsaw, Poland. Day one. Yeah, I can reach this. Ah, I'm lucky I'm really strong. One of the joys of starting a tour after a flight is getting all the equipment to work after the TSA has had their way with it. Don't worry about the keyboard for now. Okay, Joey notes is not getting to keys. In the words of the TSA, let us rip this apart. I had like these fucking first shows of the tour and nothing was figured out. Europe has been slow to crack for them, but there's enough of a nucleus of a fan base to make the trip worth it. The goal is to build on the existing fan base and show the promoters what Congos is all about. The common wisdom is, if you crack Europe, it's a lifetime touring market, no matter your popularity in the US, which can come and go. That was fucking nuts. Just unbelievable. Like each get our own junk bunk. Like most European bus companies, it's a double decker, really, really tiny dimensions. So you got to walk around like this to get everywhere. <laughs> the aisles were tighter, so everyone was just rubbing butts um, constantly. Um, if you can imagine that tight hallway, okay, mm -hmm. turning away from each other. Butts. These are butts. Sometimes it was dick to butt, tip to tip. The roads in Poland are notoriously bad, so sleeping on the bus is a challenge. How was your night on the bus? Uh, last night was a little rough. 
but I made it. How long will I make it today? We shall see. You know, one of those nights where you're like, oh, I'm falling asleep. And <laughs> First night on that shitty European bus. It's fucking terrible design. Nick, how was your night? Fucking great. I felt yeah. like a baby. Did you pick a top bunk? Yeah. Because it's got a fucking window in it? Why, I don't know why people pick top bunks. Weirdos. You're not a top bunk, aren't you? I'm a top you know, bunk. Yeah. I like having a window. I don't know if you can see it, but that's Madness. kind of funny. <laughs> Trimming the very little hair that I have. This is rock and roll. <laughs> this is rock and roll. Um, you know what the trick is to uh, <laughs> to getting a foggy mirror or a not foggy? Just the slightest amount of soap. Put a little tiny bit of soap in your fingers. In water. Really? Boom, cleans it off and doesn't it doesn't fog back up again. Okay. Huh. That's interesting. The little tricks. Romeo, oh Romeo! <laughs> Wherefore art thou, Romeo? I think it's very good thing uh, to travel with brothers because you don't miss a uh, old family. In America, the question is always, how do you travel with your brothers? I hate my family, and it's such a different <laughs> way to approach the question. Amidst this traveling domesticity, an underlying sense of fragility about the future of the band's career persists. It's eight hours behind in Los Angeles. The band is taking a $70,000 loss on this European tour. So the ongoing issues with the album campaign back in the U.S. weigh heavily in the dressing room. This, above all the other issues we've had throughout the whole time with uh, this is the biggest thing. This was such a fuck up you know it, it not only killed this song it killed the timing for any other song hold on here, here's Danny the person who should have been fucking fired doesn't get fired then it looks like an idiot and we're still stuck with this label so we had an amazing fucking show in Warsaw crowds going fucking nuts war run better kills we come off the stage to this fucking shit this is the temperate version of what everyone's actually feeling what we're all saying is a lot worse in private. It, it's made is a political game rather than a music game. Compartmentalizing your thoughts and emotional states is key. The audience doesn't know or really even care what's going on with you outside of the show. They paid for a performance and are entitled to your attention and energy. You may be struggling with something personal or some conflict or health issue or carrying any number of burdens. But if you can't leave that in the dressing room for 90 minutes a night, you're not holding up your end of the agreement.
I love with Gangas. Motherfucker shit. Wow. Come, come with me now. A city becomes defined in your mind by your experiences there. And when the feeling of arriving and leaving is pretty much simultaneous, it all gets a little hazy. Where are we? Somebody today had to remind me of what fucking day of the week it was. Do you know what day it is? I think it's Wednesday. No. It's fucking Thursday. Actually, no, no. It is Friday. I got three kisses today. From one guy, yeah. May I have two more? Australia. Oh. Why the fuck you in a pilot? You have to be on your fucking game all the time. And you're absolutely on your fucking game all the goddamn fucking time. And you take in respectfully and well. Seven more. Seven more. Seven more. Seven more. Seven more. Let's go as far as we can. Uh, oh, hey, don't tell me what to do. Yeah, yeah. I'm no off duty. Dude, Which is fucking I, I, She <laughs> might be at work. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> hey, everybody, this is my wife back home. <laughs> She's right here. Hey, Mary. <laughs> She's in a business meeting. Jason, what, what level of pilot, what, what kind of plane could you fly? Uh, I could fly a 20,000-pound uh, commercial <laughs> plane. Jason has had a whole beer tonight. <laughs> <laughs> That's completely why I love this woman. No, I, I probably should go. That. Checking in, checking up, logging on. This is what I'm running on. This is real life. In tour life, you have two families one at home and one on the road. A gentle spring, back into the woods I've been. Waking from sleep as in this is real life. What is real life? There it is, floating in a hazy noise, passing every midnight. Never stops and never slows. And all this time, the only one in real life. There it goes, held inside a single note, looking through a telescope. Never stops and never slows and all my life I wanted what is real life Jason, how are you feeling? I'm uh, feeling like shit right now. Goddamn Nostroya. <laughs> Did you get any sleep? Oh yeah, I passed the fuck out. Where are we exactly? I don't know. We're, I mean, we're in Prague. Prague. I don't know where we are. We're at a brewery. Oh, we're at a brewery? Oh. <laughs> That's what that is, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Tired? Yeah. I, I haven't been able to beat jet lag yet, and so I'm still on kind of American time. Plus, add on top of that. <laughs> the whole fucking way. <laughs> Poland, great gigs, terrible roads. We're gonna pay for the weekend. We're gonna pay for the weekend. We have to go and jump in the deep end. When a city is the 59th city you've been to that year, the novelty of traveling has worn off. Makes me want to party like it's 1929. But it's funny how every moment becomes romanticized. Because today, you're not just grabbing a coffee, you're grabbing a coffee in Prague after getting drunk on vodka with some Polish bartenders in Poznan the night before. Sometimes you dread the night coming to an end. Other times, bus call can't come soon enough. But at seven weeks in, this is still just the beginning.
Next time on Bus Call. When was the last time you were home? I can't remember. You can't force people to do shit when we're halfway across the world. Hey, we're just fucking sick of it. Who <laughs> totally killed it? We're in St. Petersburg. I wore the wrong jacket. Let's go.